Here we're given the coordinates of five points and we need to work out each of the following. Part A, we need to find the midpoint of A, B. So A is the point 2, 4. B is the point 6, 12. To work out the midpoint, I'm going to focus on the X coordinates first of all. So I'm going to do 2 plus 6, which is 8. And then I'll divide that by 2, which would give me 4. Now to focus on the y coordinates, we've got 4 plus 12, which is 16, divided by 2, which is 8. So the midpoint of AB is the coordinates 4, 8. Question B, we're asked for the gradient of AD. So the gradient of AD, the change in the y. So let's focus on the y coordinates first of all. So I'm going to write down 4 minus negative 1 divided by the change in the x coordinates, which is going to be 2 take away negative 3, which gives me 5 over 5, which is 1. Next, we want the length of AC. To work that out, I'm going to focus on the X coordinates and work out the change in those. So the difference between minus 2 and 2 is 4. Then I'm going to focus on the Y coordinates. The difference between 4 and 7 is 3. And then I'm going to do some Pythagoras with those. So 4 squared plus 3 squared, all square rooted, is 5. And I don't know the units here, so I'll just write 5 units. Next, we want the midpoint of B, C. B and C. So let's focus on the X coordinates first. We've got 6 plus minus 2 divided by 2. So we'll have 6 plus minus 2 is 4 divided by 2 is 2. Now let's focus on the y coordinates. We've got 12 plus 7, which is 19, divided by 2, which is 9.5. E, we want the gradient of BC. So the change in the Y coordinates, I've got 12 minus 7, divided by the change in the X coordinates, which is 6 minus negative 2. So 12 minus 7 is 5, 6 minus negative 2, so 6 plus 2 is 8. 5 over 8 doesn't simplify very nicely, so I'll just leave the gradient there as 5 eighths. Next, the length of CE. So let's focus on the X coordinates. The difference between minus 2 and 7 is 9. Now let's do the difference in the Y coordinates. The difference between 7 and minus 4 is 11. And if we do a little bit of Pythagoras on that to work out the length, we've got 9 squared is 81 plus 11 squared is 121. So when we add those together, we get root 202, which we could leave that in its exact form. Or we could write that to one decimal place as 14.2. Usually we'd leave it in its exact form. Part G, the midpoint of DE. Focusing on the X coordinates, we've got a th minus 3 and a 7, so we'll add them together. Which gives 4. Divided by 2 is 2. 
Now let's look at the y coordinates. We've got minus 1 plus minus 4, which is minus 5, divided by 2 is minus 2.5. And the last question for this section, we want the length of CD. So let's look at the difference in the X coordinates. The difference between minus two and minus three is one. Now let's look at the Y coordinates. The difference between seven and minus one is eight. And a little bit of Pythagoras gives root 65. in its exact form, which is the better answer, but you could, if you wish, say that's 8.1 to one decimal place, but root 65 is better.